Hello everyone, and welcome back to our channel. Today we'll be diving deep into a crucial concept in cardiovascular physiology, stroke work and its representation on the left ventricular pressure volume loop. If you're a medical student, an intensivist, or a cardiologist, this video is for you. Let's get started. We've talked about a lot of ideas specifically around pressure and volume. And what I wanted to do in this video is tie them together and make sure that we see the big picture, how everything relates to one another. So let's set up our pressure and volume axis here. First, we'll draw the end systolic pressure volume relationship or ESPVR line. This line represents the maximum pressure that the ventricle can develop at any given volume. Next, we'll draw the end diastolic pressure volume relationship, or EDPVR line, which shows the pressure volume relationship when the ventricle is filled and relaxed. Now, we'll add the arterial elastance line, which we'll draw in purple. Arterial elastance is calculated as the end systolic pressure over stroke volume. It's represented as a straight line from the end systolic point down to the volume axis. With these lines in place, we can make educated guesses about the shape of the pressure volume loop. The loop will come down from the ESPVR line, follow the EDPVR curve, and rise back up during ejection, forming a loop. The area inside this loop represents the stroke work, the work done by the heart during each cardiac cycle. A larger loop indicates more work, and a smaller loop indicates less work. I'll shade this area in a green pattern to highlight it as our stroke work. Now we can simplify the PV loops into PV boxes. Let's draw a red box to compare. The vertical distance represents the end systolic pressure and the horizontal distance represents the stroke volume. The PV box and loop are quite similar, but not identical. The box has extra areas like this red corners and misses some green areas from the loop. Overall, the areas are close enough that we often use PV boxes for simplicity in textbooks and articles. This way, it is easy to understand that the stroke work of the left ventricle is represented by the area of the box, and mathematically, it's expressed as the integral of pressure, P, with respect to volume, V. This integral represents the total energy expended by the left ventricle to pump blood. You can change the size of the PV box in three ways. First, by altering contractility, which swings the ESPVR line in, or out. Secondly, we can change the slope of the arterial elastance line, either increased or decreased, or by shifting the entire elastance line, right or left, which adjusts preload. Each one of these changes affects the box's dimensions, specifically end systolic pressure and stroke volume. That wraps up our detailed look at stroke work on the LV pressure volume loop. Understanding this concept is vital for interpreting cardiac function and guiding treatment decisions. If you found this video helpful, make sure to give it a thumb up, subscribe to our channel, and hit the notification bell so you never miss an update. Thank you for watching, and we'll see you next time.